What's up guys in today's video <laughs> What's up guys in oh, crap What's up guys in today's video we are going to be doing a wash water spot removal and a wax with our Jeskar power lock on the rub rail down of the 68 foot Hatteras Let's go <laughs> Alrighty, so first things first, this boat is in super good shape. It was just repainted uh, two years ago and the customer, or in this case, the captain, uh, has kept it waxed ever since. So all we're doing is the rub rail down. So we got the rub rail up here down to the bottom paint and we're just going to wash it and we're gonna give it a good polished wax with our Jeskar polymer sealant. Guys, like always, if you get any value out of this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification, so every time I make a video, it will pop up. And also, every product that I use in this video is in the description down below. If you click those links and you purchase those products, I get a small percentage of that sale, and I appreciate you guys for that. Doing a wash, and we're gonna polish wax it, okay? And so what do I mean by that? We're gonna use the Jeskar Power Lock to basically seal the boat off, but in return, we're gonna do a polishing type motion with our buffer to give it a polishing effect, okay? So if you've watched my channel for any time, you know that I'm not a fan of cleaner waxes. I hate cleaner waxes because you get kind of a crappy polish and you get also kind of a crappy wax. Whereas if you do this technique, you're gonna get a polishing effect from the buffer and the pads, but you're also gonna get the very good um, protection from the sealant. All right, I wanna make this intro super quick and then we'll hop right into the teaching. So let's go ahead and just kind of take a look at some of the uh, watermarks and kind of some of the things we're gonna clean and we're just gonna hop right into the video. There is just some, um, you know, some soot right here. You can tell um, it's just dirty, you know, it's, it's uh, you know, he's, he's fished it. They've uh, put it head in the water and it's just out right now. And one, I, it's actually out because we had a hurricane pass recently and they hauled it out to protect the boat from the hurricane and the elements. Well, while we're here, they just want us to go ahead and get it detailed up. So you can see all the salt, all the water marks that are on the paint. Um, you know, everything looks great on angle, but when you look into it, you can see all that salt all inside of it. So we're gonna go ahead, give it a really good detailed wash, and then we're just gonna go ahead and seal it up with our Jeskar. I brought you up here because I wanna show you guys exactly what we're removing with the water mark remover and just to show you kind of how bad they are because down below you can't really tell but when you get up here you can see all the watermarks. I'm hoping we can actually see this on camera. All right, so I'm hoping we can actually see this on camera but if you look up in here, there's just a ton of watermarks all over the boat. I mean, every, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Um, and guys, this will happen with the salt water over here. You can see it all in here. Now, when we use the watermark remover, we're basically removing all of these watermarks that are all inside of the paint. So that's why you wanna take your time in doing this process because it will matter. All of these watermarks, man, I'm really hoping we can see this on camera, but all of the watermarks that are in the paint are all just gonna come right off when we do the watermark remover. So it is very important, take your time. It's kind of a slow process, but take your time and do it right and get all the watermarks off. All right guys, so like I said, this video is going to be very simple. There's not a lot to it. So that's enough of me talking. Let's go ahead and just get right to work. First thing we're gonna do is start off by washing the boat. All I have is Dawn dishwashing soap in a bucket and I'm using the extra soft bristle brush from Surehold to brush the boat. Okay, first thing, I'm using Dawn dishwashing soap and this is gonna help get off any of that little bit of soot that was on the boat and it's gonna help uh, strip off any waxes, any oils that are on the surface already. Now guys, when it comes to sport fishers, a lot of captains are gonna use white vinegar vinegar to clean off a lot of these watermarks. I personally don't love using white vinegar because I have seen it multiple times leave streaks, not only on the actual paint or the gel coat, it can also streak the bottom paint because it is a natural acid and it will sometimes hurt the bottom paint. Now, if you're not using a water spot removal you know, system like we're gonna do in this video, using white vinegar will help remove water spots uh, and salt. It's not gonna make it perfect, but it will do a lot better than doing nothing at all. So if you're not gonna do water spot removal like we're doing in the video, 
video, use a 25% white vinegar in your bucket of soap and water. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop to this little scum line. There's a little scum line in the very back area. Guys, all I'm using here is super clean to get that scum line out. Again, don't use any acids, any uh, any hull cleaners or anything like that because if it gets on the bottom paint, it will turn it green. It's gonna, it's gonna erode the copper inside of the bottom paint and it will turn it green. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tape off our bottom paint so we don't get any wax in the bottom paint. It's best to just go ahead and prep the boat properly versus waxing it and getting, um, you know, getting wax all in your bottom paint and now you have to scrub bottom paint and that kind of thing. So just go ahead, takes a few minutes, tape it up. Now we're gonna actually hop into the actual waxing water spot removal process okay so as you can see here i have a da buffer that i'm using i have a white lake country force rotation polishing pad on my buffer and the process is guys we are doing the water spot removal now in this video i actually use two different products okay so on this side of the boat i'm using a product called wsp by the company called underdog um, the product did very, very well. I will say it did super great, but I did end up having to use an entire 32 ounce bottle on one side and it cost me about 40 bucks. Okay, so uh, the product did amazing, but it did cost me about 40 bucks. Now that's the only downside. The product worked perfectly. It took all the watermarks off, but it did have to use an entire 32 ounce bottle to be able to do so because it is a pure liquid. Um, so guys, we're wiping off the water spot remover Removal, and then we're going ahead and polishing it. So as you can see here, the wax is behind me. So we're doing the water spots. We're wiping off all of our water spots. And then I'm taking a little spray. Uh, I don't have a lot of footage of it, but I'm taking a water bottle with just a um, just little water in it and I'm wiping off the acid and then we're going to just wax it. Um, in this case, the boat is huge, okay? So I'm using scaffolding. I did rent some from the marina here. So if you don't have scaffolding, try to get some from your marina. If not, then you may have to do it on ladders, which would suck. <laughs> but um, guys, all we're doing is we're removing the waters every single step. We're removing the water, the water spots, and then we're going over it with our Jeskar power lock to seal it. All right, and now once we're done with the whole side, we're gonna go ahead and take it off. So with Jeskar power lock, you have to wait at minimum of 30 minutes before you take it off. Now, it took me about two hours to do the whole side, so as soon as I was finished, I just went ahead, dropped everything, and went back and got my two rags and went ahead and took off the Jeskar power lock. Now, I am gonna make another note too. Um, as you can see in some of the footage, I'm using a little black spray bottle. This is Nautical One Detail with Carnuba spray. Okay, and the only reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes the Jeskar Power Lock can leave these uh, kind of streak marks in the gel coat. It's just the, the sealant or wax kind of moving around, and it can be a royal pain on a huge boat like this. So if you just missed, you don't need to drench the rag at all, just mist it on the rag, and just a little bit of liquid would help remove some of those streaks. So if you're having bad streaking from the Jeskar, which it kind of does, a lot of sealants will kind of streak, just mist the rag with a detail spray. It doesn't have to be this one. It could be any detailed, you know, spray wax, SiO2 wax will kind of help get those streaks off. Okay, so guys, on this side of the boat, I am using a product called Venom from Stark. Now, I will say this product outperformed the WSP. WSP worked super well, but this product actually did better in my opinion because it's a gel consistency. And guys, I used about half of a 12 ounce bottle. Okay, so I used a full 32 ounce bottle on the other side and this side I only used half of a 12 ounce bottle. And I think the 12 ounce bottle maybe cost me like uh, 20 bucks, something like that. Go ahead, I'm telling you, just do, do yourself a favor. Go ahead and get the Venom water spot removal from Stark. It is an amazing product. You can find it down below. Go ahead, wipe all the watermarks off, wipe it with a wet rag after to get the acid off and then go ahead and seal it up with your Jeskar. So after 30 minutes, go ahead and take off all of your sealant and we're just gonna move on. So the process is, guys, I'm gonna repeat it one last time. It's gonna be removing the water spots, it's gonna be wiping it with a wet rag to get the acid off, and then it's gonna be sealing it up with the Jeskar Power Lock, and then we're gonna wait 30 minutes and come back and take it off with two rags. And that's it, it is that simple. using the white 
polishing pad on the DA. Right here, I am using the Roops in this um, in, in this instance. It's a good machine, but honestly, I don't love it for how much money it is. I'm a big believer in the Griots Garage G9. So use your polish. Um, I am running it on about the five settings, so I'm running it pretty fast, and I'm doing my I'm doing my side to side, up down, side to side motion. I'm polishing in the sealant, so you, we get this really, really, really brilliant shine. One more quick shout out to Venom from Stark. Like I said, I used half of a 12 ounce bottle instead of the other product, which was 32 ounces. Um, it is a great product. It's a gel, so I found that it was sat on the surface area a lot more and it had a lot more working time. The other product wanted to dry on me, so that's why I had to use so much, whereas the Venom from Stark was more of a gel, so it just stayed on the surface, and all I did was work it in and work it in and work it in, and every single bit of the water spots came right off. All right, guys, go ahead, seal everything up, and get everything wiped off, get all the watermarks wiped off, and that is it. We are done. Well guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell notification. So every time I make a video, it will pop up and I will see you guys on my next video. Let's go.